So what is Hollywood Brandfather and why do they call you that? Yeah, it's like a nickname? Yeah. It's kind of a nickname, yeah. yeah. Well, I started with a Hollywood Reporter and they were doing an interview with me. And I was talking about, because I believe people who live the brand. And we're talking about one of our brands by this guy there who lives the brand, knows the brand. We call him the brand father. And he turned to me and said, aren't you kind of the brand father? <laughs> and because I'd done the 50 Cent deal and Jennifer Aniston and Smartwater and Justin Timberlake. Gotcha. I went home and the next thing I know, the article comes out, Hollywood's brand father. So uh, like, I see. I mean, I'll take it. Can you give some general advice? People ask me all the time, you know, because I do have a, a brand for advice. And I'm like, I honestly don't know. Like, I just, I, I live... A mantra, you know, that it, it, you don't have to be rich to have a rich life, and I try and keep that at the center of all of our brand. Do you have general advice that you give people? Three great principles or rules. Well, one, to me, this is the greatest country in the world to be an entrepreneur. Absolutely. Hands down. Absolutely. Any, anybody can become anything in America. That's right. It's like living the American it dream. It remains true. And it's why I did Shark Tank, actually, is because I'm living the American dream. I'm an immigrant, came to this country, have done well, and it's a way to pay it forward. Exactly. So the advice that I give entrepreneurs is, one, have a real idea. I don't care if it's something as small as putting vitamins in water that becomes a $4 billion company, but have a real idea that people need. And people don't always know they need it. And then follow through with that idea, because everyone said, oh, I don't know what I thought of that, yeah, but only one guy followed through on it. Right, so exactly. The second is packaging. Back in the day, if you look at packages, you know, Velveeta cheese or Coke, it's been around for like 100 years. The packaging has become iconic, iconic. now, but at the time, maybe we're not. Newer packaging is much... The millennials, Gen Z are much more demanding. Have a package that pops off the shelf. Right. And finally, passion. If you don't have the passion, you see the passion in you. You have to work harder than everybody else and be grateful for it. And then and everyone will passion. follow you. That's right. They will charge the mountain with you. So that's why those three basics get the whole ball rolling. I agree.